Jeff and I have popped up on this hill just above our camp, camp three, to have a look around because we felt like we've been in the channel for days in a kind of inside passage. And out there's the outside world of baking planes and we don't know what. So we came up to have a look around and here we see a few rocky outcrops just like on the map. Up there the King Leopolds. And down there not so good looking is just a mass of trees. No, no one clear channel as we saw on the plain but a mass of trees. And that's where the river goes south and west and south and west. That's a serious expanse of trees. It really helps you appreciate what we're doing when you, when you come up here and have a good look around. I suggest we get down and get on a bit, eh? No, let's stay here for a couple of days. <laughs> So Chris and I have got separated. Um, I was leading um, back here and I followed the main flow into some trees. Chris was behind me, he decided to go in another direction for some reason. Luckily we've both got our own food, although Chris has the filter, so I'll be drinking straight out of the river, which is not so bad. Only other thing, Chris has all the, um, all the maps. I've got my GPS, luckily it does have a fairly good representation of the river on it. Tried to find him. God knows where he is. That's it, we're both on our own I'd say. I just lost Jeff. We separated about half an hour ago. He took a right channel. I took a left one. Thinking they'd meet up. The good thing is we know we've got enough food and there's water and He's got a map in his GPS, which is good enough. I was behind, so I should have taken his channel. Anyway, I'm sure it'll work out like it always does. And sadly, there he is again. That was a good, that was a good move back there, mate. What was that all about? I was in the main flow, went off to the right. You decided to go on, go on your own behind me, off to the left, no, back no, there, no, mate. I honestly thought that was the last I'd seen of you. No, I knew you were to my right, and I was airing to the right all the time. Okay, so we're back together. Yes, let's stick together. I agree, I should have followed you, because you were ahead. Even yeah. if it turned out to be a bad track, I agree. Yeah. So the dynamic duo are reunited, and we can continue to scold one another over a cup of tea. <laughs> or, or play frisbee. We discovered gold, so we found a bin lid just up the way there where we had a smoko. And just gonna work out how to pan for gold. Can you see this? I think you uh, you, you, shake you swill it, it you swill it. And then you go like that. Yeah. And, then, then and, and let it sink. Keep filling it with water. Now there's a, there's a speck there. Yeah. Is that gold? It's either that or kookaburra crap. Put more water in and then let the gold and then swill it and the gold just sinks to the bottom of the mush. That's it. That's it, and then swill out the excess, that's it, and then keep putting more water in. That's it. I saw it on TV once, a documentary. So that's full of gold, we'll leave. Gold panning on the Fitzroy River. Oops, I said that, should I? Location secret. Well, if it was gold, it would have sunk to... Oh, there's a little bit. Yeah. Look at that. There's yeah. There's a flake. That's it. There's a fleck of gold. Hmm. Absolutely, without yeah. doubt. Yeah. Holy crap, look, there's another one. Yeah, yeah. There it is. What is that if not gold? Fool's gold. No, we're not fools, mate. Look, no, at, it. look no, at it, look at it. Look at it. It's covered in it. No fools out here. No, no, no. Only us. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
it's quicksand, bloody wearing us down. Yeah. You know, we just can't get away from it. Oi. Bloody hard to, once you get in it, it's hard to bloody pull your leg out. Oh. There he goes again. He should be in the bull ring, that one. The size of them. Get out of here! Get out! I just spotted this piece of driftwood high above me in the trees. That's a good 10 meters above my head. That is a massive, uh, massive bloody flow in the wet this year. Just had another puncture after lunch on day four. Not surprising really. Look at what's up ahead. This is the best way's worst nightmare. Bloody just sticks and branches everywhere, just waiting to poke through the bloody very thin skin of the of the boat. Letting Chris clear the path through the leaf litter. Let him find all the sharp sticks and I'll come through in safety. There's no way we could have even seen this river from the air. It's just so covered in, isn't it? We've come into a huge colony of bats. Yeah, I was paddling along. I smell guano. I don't know how I know what guano smells like, but look, look at them go. Sort of cute, but not really. Very smelly. So we're having a tough old afternoon. Jeff's got punctures. We've got log jam followed by quicksand, followed by log jam, more quicksand. Right now we've come on a pool. I just hope it lasts a couple of k's, but I don't think so. Yeah, it's cooled off. I don't know what it is, four o'clock. Let's just hope we can get a couple of hours of paddling in. Anyway, this is what, what are we, afternoon four? On the way to... On the way to uh, Geeky for tomorrow. Come to a blockage, so we're going to camp here on this sandbank. We've done 26 kilometres today, which is pretty amazing. Jeff's making some flatbread tonight. What's the recipe you got there, Jeff? Um, self raising flour, bit of salt, sugar, and some olive oil, which is flavoured with garlic, and a bit of water. Just kneading the dough. We're going to just cut it in half and flatten it out and then we're going to chuck it in the coals have one each for a little appetizer done freshly baked garlic bread from the fires of the fitzroy river mm. Oh. Mm. brilliant dough yeah well needed recommended jeff's damper recipe mm. oh fantastic Mm. You smell that? Thank you, Jeff. That was nice. Mm. 